I do tend to prefer, personally, uh, dub over sub. Now close your eyes and go to sleep. I won't be able to see. There's no light. You will dream of light. It's hard to describe why it's a good thing, but if I'm going to narrow it down to anything, it helps to promote itself, anime, um, to the general American populace because it's more accessible, because it's in English. And it's got some American voice actors, which are, you know, some of them have some popularity, have fan bases. I watch all my anime subbed, usually in the original language that it's found in. If I find an anime that's from Japan, I always listen to it in Japanese, Korean, Korean. And if it is an American anime, I will watch it in English. My first experience with anime, I was probably around seven years old and I was in Mexico. I was watching Dragon Ball Z dubbed over uh, very horribly. <laughs> this guy seems to be doing good, but they are not good enough to fight with us. Ah, <laughs> you die! <laughs> with what sounded like the same guy doing every single voice. I liked the content, but I didn't really like the way it sounded. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball series in general, the dub is much better just because of the voice acting. It's just a cultural thing in that one, because the voice actor you have in the Japanese version for Goku, the main character, is squeaky. <laughs> is the best way to describe it. It's a squeaky voice. It's... It's... It's grating on the ears because we, we're just not used to that. We think when you have a masculine male lead, it's going to sound deep and strong. I wanted to. Uh -huh. But over there, it's a bit of a joke in Japan to have a main character like that. So, I mean, it's not the only one. I don't think any anime can benefit from a dub. They can generally be okay with a dub, but there's no really no benefit from it because it's already been made in its original language. It's the easiest way to get into anime, definitely, because it's in your language. Um, not to mention, a animes are not only translated into English, but you've got Spanish dubs, you've got German dubs, you've got every major language. Because I don't think a lot of the actors and voice actors that we have in America have too much of a range, or maybe there's just too far and too few between to actually have good voice actors for an entire anime. Usually you'll have a star, maybe two stars, working on a project, but everything else will be people who don't really know what they're doing or try to overact it uh, in a cartoony way. Libertas Imperio! <laughs> Libertas Imperio! I'd say it definitely helps, if not if it... It's probably the key thing. Because if we didn't have it translated into English with good American voice actors and good American talent in it, it wouldn't be as much as a cultural phenomenon that it actually is. I mean, Pokemon's been around since, what, 95? It's still going now in 2013. It won't stop. I would recommend to anybody who's getting into anime to generally watch things, if they can, in the subbed original voices uh, with English subtitles because you're going to get a lot more range. It's going to sound a little more natural. And you also kind of won't have that cartoony effect that a lot of the anime gets when it gets dubbed over. 